big turn. Continuing on now, week 13 of the NFL season, we got New Orleans at Washington. Did anybody see New Orleans? I mean, unbelievable. What a performance by Drew Brees. 158.3 QB rating, five touchdowns by and the, as I said before, the Saints defense held Tom Brady to zero, count zero touchdowns. I haven't seen that in a long time. Marcus Colson was awesome last week. He was not, he's not like the big producing wide receiver. They got a bunch of them. I mean, look at this. They got, they got Mark Colston. They got Robert Meacham. They have Devery Henderson. Devery Henderson's awesome on the deep ball here. Marcus Colson has seven touchdowns for the year. Robert Meacham has less than 400 yards receiving. He has seven touchdowns. Seven. And take a look at this. They got a rushing attack, too, that's ranked fifth in the NFL with Pierre Thomas and Mike Bell combining for nine touchdowns. Pierre Thomas, 648 yards. Mike Bell, 564 yards. I guarantee you that one of these two running backs is going to have 1,000 yards before the end of the season. I'm not kidding you. This is the team to beat right now. This is the most complete team. Now I'm about to get a bunch of hate mail here. Said, so, oh no, no no, the Vikings are. Do the Vikings have 22 takeaways? Do the Vikings know how to win when the going gets tough? They don't. The Saints do, and they showed it against the Patriots. When was the last time that Bill Belichick ever gave any respect to a football team like the Saints? He came up and hugged Drew Brees. Hugged him. He didn't even hug Rex Ryan for the heck of it. Hey, I know Rex Ryan. No, I don't know him anymore. He ran off the field when his friend Josh McDaniels beat him in Denver. When you give Bill Belichick's respect, you got something. Sean Payne has done an admirable job. Coach of the year, guaranteed. The thing is though, I'm hyping you up. I'm setting you up for disaster. I don't want to see you fail. This is the most complete team. Prove it. You're going against the best pass defense in the NFL with the Washington Redskins. But Jason Campbell, Jason Campbell does not know how to win a football game. You saw it. They literally made a lead go away after a 24-16 lead with only two minutes left. They let Philadelphia get back in the game and win it with two potential interceptions that basically cost them the game. New Orleans needs to prove that they are the team to beat this year so they can get to their first Super Bowl. I'm not kidding. This is their first Super Bowl, so they can get rid of those old times, the 1980s. Ooh, those were bad times. 2 and 14, 1 and 15. Ugh, you do not want that anymore. This is a new team. Hats off to Sean Payton for going up to the owner and saying, I will give you $250,000 of my own money to hire defensive coordinator Greg Williams. What a turnout. 26 sacks for the year. You got Will Smith, you got Cedric Ellis, and you got, uh, excuse me, Charles Grant, what a solid three, what a solid three on the line. And then you got a great linebacker. And then hats off to Mike McKenzie. I didn't see Mike McKenzie show up at all when he was in New Orleans. He comes back for a game, and what the hey, Greg Williams is defensive coordinator. He makes him one of the best quarterbacks that night. He was awesome. I mean, literally, they could take anybody out of this pre agency and put them into Greg Williams' system. New Orleans is going to win this game, but it's going to be tough. As I said before, that pass defense has only given up 170 yards per game. So Drew Brees is going to have his work cut out for him. But the Washington rush defense is 25th. And if I do remember, as I said before, the Saints have a running game. The Saints are going to win this one. And they're going to win this one easily. Over the inconsistent Daniel Snyder hurting this franchise, Redskins. The final score will be 33 to 10.